Hello everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how to connect to OMTEC laser current engraver. This model here is the 50 watt model bed 12 by 20 inches. Okay, um, I'm using this controller over here. Uh, I will put some more information on the screen for the controller. So this is the controller, uh, Ruida controller KT332N. Okay. Is a, the reason I'm saying is a Ruida controller. I looked online, a lot of people, there was a couple of videos people talking about it, not a lot of people, I apologize. They were talking about this is not a Ruida controller, it's a fake controller or something. It is a Ruida controller. Yes, you can actually see it on Ruida's official website, but even when I connect to Lightburn, Lightburn recognize it as a Ruida controller so I'm not sure exactly why Ruida does not advertise this maybe because it was taken off or was moved to different company or something but does have a Ruida software that even Lightburn it is actually recognizing it as a Ruida controller uh, and I will be showing you guys in the video when I go to automatic it does shows it as a Ruida controller now there is a manual for it uh find a manual by contacting the manufacturing okay and i will be linking it on the video below so you guys can download it and see it if you have any issue with it or something this manual i'm not sure it can be used for a different uh maybe a hundred watt machine or something i believe it should be good as long as your controller is a kt 332M okay and let's move on to the video I have Lightburn open I'm gonna close Lightburn and at first I'm gonna delete all the devices in here and I'm gonna try to connect to Lightburn as you're connecting from fresh star okay so yes no so we can sorry we're gonna click open Lightburn okay you're gonna open Lightburn first. First thing you need to do, you need to have your machine connected, okay? To the power, you need to have it connected to the computer before you open Lightburn, okay? And we're gonna open the machine and show you. There's a power button on the side here. We're gonna click on. The machine is gonna try to go home. And you will know where's your homing of the machine. Currently right now, my machine is homing to the left-hand side far corner. And it's gonna go back to a last position. Okay, so we open Lightburn. We're gonna click here, find automatic, find my machine. Basically, this is finding your machine automatically. Okay, so we're gonna the wizard menu uh, window is gonna come out. First, I apologize for my English. I'm gonna try my best to give you guys clear video and understand. If you don't understand anything, please leave a comment. I will try my best to help you. So click next. Okay, it's surging. It found already two devices, basically two way, two method of connecting to this here. Okay, they're both the same. It's just one through serial number, one through hacked. But we're gonna put choose COM5, and I will explain what's COM5 in a minute. You need to find out what is actually your port of your laptop so here how are you gonna find it out so for example my computer have one USB port two and three sometimes this USB port is called for example right now this one here that's where the machine is hooked up to it is called cam 5 this one could be count four, this one could be a different number, okay? So you need to know your port, what port you're using. I recommend always from experience, do not use anything next to the power. Any USB port next to the power usually will have some interference, especially if you're sending data. That's why most USBs usually have this guy over here, okay? This is to prevent interference. But I like to use the other side so I use this guy for my USB mouse and then we'll use this guy here for actual transferring data to a laser 
Okay. Next, after we find out the part, now we're gonna choose. We know this one was five. Okay, we're gonna choose five and we're gonna click add device. Automatically it's gonna calculate for us what device information it is. You can change it, you can add anything next to it if you have multiple machines. Okay, we can call this one. This is the Rowita KT332N. We can add 50 watt if you have, let's say, something else powerful more. Okay, and then we this is automatically calculates the bed size for you. X is gonna be this direction here. So my bed is 500 millimeter, it's about 20 inches. And Y axis is from here to here, it's about 300 millimeter say 12 inches okay you're gonna go click next now it's telling you where your machine homes remember at the startup I told you my machine homes on the right I mean left back corner if it does something like this right front corner you're gonna choose this guy over here but at this point my machine homes at this point here which is back to the left okay I'm gonna click next in your machine last last chance you have to review all your data basically everything is correct click finish if not cancel and start over so you're gonna click finish now is the machine connected so you can make this as a default basically every time you open light burn this will be selected first if you have two different machines or you can just leave it as it is and you can just choose but we'll choose this as a default okay and then we're gonna click OK now everything changed on that screen you can see now your best size is almost to 500 and 4 to 300 here if I zoom out basically you got 500 somewhere over here and 300 somewhere over here okay that's our actual bed size to double check to make sure you're connected let's jog the machine a little bit out of position all you gotta do click home okay click home if your machine start homing you are connected to the machine another way you can find out is basically on the left bottom right bottom here sorry uh, if you see here this is the machine setup name we are connected automatically we can switch between automatically and five they are the same because I know my port is five now here's another little trick if you want to really find out what's going on let's make a square box somewhere over here I make a square box here and I click frame the machine is gonna go to that square and it's trying to frame it it's just telling me this is where your box is gonna be and it's gonna go back home okay this setup is if everything is working fine and you have no issue with your machine sometimes you when I purchased this machine there was nothing wrong with the machine I did not have the right version of light burn I have to upgrade so while I was upgrading the machine, the light burn did not read the controller. So I had to go do it manually. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys how to do it manually. So remember, we did this one here. So let's think this one right now is a different model. We're gonna do it manually, set up for it. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go to devices, okay? And you can click create manually, or when the screen pops out and you clicked on search, or find my laser sorry and nothing popped out remember we said we clicked on five my laser you click next if nothing popped out here don't don't freak out it's okay <coughs> nothing wrong with the machine all you gotta do is make sure the machine is on close the screen create manually okay and go down and look for your motherboard this motherboard here is Ruida motherboard so you go down, it's under Ruida. You click Ruida, click next. Now you just have to enter stuff manually. Are you connecting to Ethernet cable? Are you connecting to uh, USB cable and all the stuff? So you're gonna click USB, okay? And click next. The only difference is between manually and automatic. Manually you have to calculate actually what size bed you have. Remember, we said this is X and this is Y. Okay, so we knew X is 500, Y was 300. If you don't know, you have to transfer, translate, transfer from 
inches to millimeter sorry again so basically uh, you do 500 X which is we said this is the best size 500 300 Y axis and then we're gonna leave this one as Ruida should know a different okay the first one we call it Ruida KT 332A something was whatever this one we're gonna leave it as Ruida click next remember we home to the right okay and you, you can tell from your manual if it's a different machine or when you turn it on you can just home it and see what's going on okay and if you make a mistake you can delete the device again and redo it doesn't matter so click next the information is going to show what you entered click finish and here's your second one so now remember one thing I'm not gonna I'm just gonna click OK I'm not gonna select anything not gonna make anything as a default at this point click OK imagine the first machine we set up it was a different machine this one was a 50 wall this one is a 60 you have to make sure when you go down here on the bottom you are selecting the right machine you could be sending information to your machine and click and play home in it and it's not working and you're thinking you're not connected you gotta make sure here you're connected so right now we set this machine manually okay you have to go down here and choose manually remember we choose Ruida automatic we choose this guy so we named it this guy sorry so we're gonna go manually see if manually is gonna work we're gonna click here it's gonna connect when this is selected this connect remember uh, home it it's already home I can jag it manually off and then home it it's homing because we connected to this guy or we can just make a square something somewhere and then remember frame it it goes to the square and it's connected okay I hope you like this video this is how you set up your machine this should work for every single machine you need to know your controller if it is a Ruira if you're doing it manually if it's a Ruira or Gerbil or whatever okay uh, and whatever other machines it is and then manually on light burn should be there is more option you can connect to network and all the stuff but at this point this machine is in the garage I don't have network in here I do have an Ethernet cable I'm having an issue with the internet so I cannot explain this to you guys I apologize but so far everything seems fine I'm loving the machine I did a bunch of testing and stuff on it uh, there's more video to come I will be showing you guys next how to hook up your actual light burn camera bear with me and I will show you some updates soon thank you if you have any questions please leave it in a comment I'll be more I'll be more than happy to help you